Hello YouTube and welcome to this new video. Today I will show you a simple method to improve your productivity on an Android device using this little application called Overlays that um, practically allows you to place any widget over everything else. But you will understand later. So first of all let's open it. Uh, yeah, this is a quick tour. I actually will skip this. And then, yeah, start all this. Okay, this is the uh, actual application. Uh, first of all, we have to create a profile. So, let's create a new profile. Let's call it defo default. Profile state, obviously, on. And add overlays. Okay, uh, after we create a profile, we have the pos already the possibility to edit it. So the first thing we we are going to do is place a widget on the screen. So we hold on the widget icon and then release it on the place on the screen where we want it to be. Let's try with the power to goes widget. You can rotate your device to set overlays portrait position. Okay, we will try that later. Uh, so here yeah, we have our widget. If we use the icon on the bottom right corner, we can resize it. And I think this size is actually good. If we use the trash icon, we will delete the, the widget. If we press on the settings thing. Uh, so uh, general information, general settings. So we can make this clickable or not clickable. We can set a background color, and we can set the transparency of the widget itself. So we'll set the transparency to 61 percent, not 60, not 62. Why? I don't know. So here we have our widget. Uh, if we want to edit the background uh, you see here it is not exactly transparent so we have to do this manually and yeah now the the widget has no background at all so if we hold it we can move it around and I will place it here then we press the save icon in the top right corner and here we have placed the first widget so if you want to add more things more stuff we have to use this little thing on the top left corner then we just uh, hold and release like I showed you before so we are, if we want to place shortcut we can just place it and add anything any kind of shortcut uh, for example, I want to create a shortcut to the download folder, so I select this folder and I press uh, create link. So here we have the shortcut, we can move it around as normal widget, we can place it here and yeah, press save. We can, um, as the widget, we can edit the settings, so up here we can. Uh, change the text size for the shortcuts, the text color, the background color, and the transparency. Also, the icon size actually, and the possibility to show or hide the label. So, I want a bigger icon and no text. Or maybe, yeah, the text. I need the text, just folder. And okay, save it. And here we have our new. New icon didn't change much actually. Let's try this. Okay, now the change is visible. Uh, I actually don't want this, so I will delete it with the top left, the bottom left button, the trash button. As you can see here, I pressed the trash button and it showed me a confirm confirmation um, icon, so I had to 
confirm my deletion. Deletion. Del I don't know. I'm not sure how it's, it's pronounced. Um, then we can we we can place a battery indicator that is there by default. So it is not a Y jet. It is included with the application. So background color as before. Yeah, do this and then text size a little bigger and show icon yes, clickable no, transparency, background color and stuff. So you see here, or maybe you don't because the text is white, so I will probably edit the text color, I will set it to black. Oops, black. Yeah. So here we have the um, little battery icon. Obviously, we can use whatever white battery widget we want. I don't want this, so I will delete it. And we can create application shortcuts that actually are pretty interesting because we can link any application here on the on the screen. I mean, I want to have the Gmail application always with me, so I just move it around, place it, yes, yeah, save. Then I, uh, I think th this is enabled, so it should work. Oops. And yeah, it works. Uh, as you see here, I am on the off screen, and I have the two nice um, widgets, the overlays. And if I long press on on the widget, I can move it around. I can edit the layout anytime I want. So. Uh, for example, I'm. This is actually useful because uh, let's let's make an example. Uh, no, say okay. I'm actually on the home screen and I want to press the microphone button to give a, a voice command, but I can't because the widget is there on the way. So I just long press it and move it around and then save it. Yes. So uh, the widget is not on the way. I can just press the button. I don't want to. Let's place it back, and we can obviously do the same with the Gmail, with the shortcuts. They act exactly like widgets, no differences, except we can't resize it, and for some reason we can't edit settings from here, but not a big deal. So uh, if I open Google Chrome, and I go to my blog, I can you see I can just use it I have no problems at all and on the top right I have the quick settings so I want to reduce the to change the the brightness and on the fly I mean I have to do I have to do nothing just press the button it is really really useful actually if I want to open Gmail I can do it anytime. You see, I opened, I opened it. I will censor this all, so you won't see anything practically. So, so I open Gmail. I can just use it normally from here. Then I can just go back to Chrome. And yeah, this is great. This is a great multitasking uh, feature that would probably help help many of you. Okay, let's see another function of the application. So, uh, we have already seen the profiles. I will disable these for this time. And the, this, is, this was the first tab. So, let's talk about the second tab, applications. This is a really useful um, option. We can add specific overlay profiles depending on what application we are using. So for example, if I am using Google Drive, so I'll select Drive from the list, okay, here we have, um, I add an overlay, for, an overlay for Google Drive, and when I open Google Drive, I will have certain widgets open. So uh, for example, I will place a calculator widget. This is my calculator. I can expand it. Mm 
and I can actually use it. Uh, so this is really useful. Um, I will show you now. Let me just change some settings like the background color and the transparency. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the new overlay. I will just save it. I, I did I save it. Yeah, I think so. So now we will open Google Drive. It is just normal Google Drive. And then I have my calculator here, so I can do one plus one plus two, and we know that two plus two is five. In fact, I think this is a bug. <laughs> uh, so we can just oh, I, I opened the history. I didn't want to do this. Uh, wait, what is the? Okay, here is the calculator. So we can just interact normally with the the application. I can just write something here the calculator is on the way so I move it make a save Gosh. and here we we have it we just can work normally with the with the application uh, we can move the widgets around and we can just use the calculator for some calculations so guys this was overlays i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel if you want more of this and remember to follow me on my blog you will find all the links the overlay links on play store the overlay pro on the play store you will find all these links in the description Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.